Hello, um, welcome to the start of the video. Uh, this is not the video itself, that's gonna happen in a minute. First of all, I just want to do a bit of housekeeping really, a bit of, a, bit of channel related stuff. So, as some of you will have noticed, this is not the channel that you originally subscribed to. This is a new one, or an old one. Um, I kind of had some, some difficulties trying to edit my channel because it was a G Suite account with Google. It got, it's complicated, it's a mess. Um, so I've moved all the content over to this new channel. Um, hit like if you can, hit resubscribe if you can. All of my, none of my old videos have got their likes anymore or the wonderful comments that you people were, were that you guys were, were putting down for me. I was really quite proud of the little, the little set of comments and the little kind of reactions I was getting to the videos and stuff like that. I really liked it, but the old account was just too much of a pain in the ass to bear. And I figured if I'm going to move it over, it's probably best to move it over when I've only got eight, nine episodes and not when I've got like 50 episodes later down the line when I eventually lose my rag with Google. If you give a toss about that, about this whole mess of situation, hit me up in the comments, let me know, and I'll mention it more in the videos. I'm guessing that most of you don't care. So I'm not going to bore you with it too much. We're going to get onto the video now. Thanks again. Don't forget to resubscribe, please. I love you all. See you soon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends, family members. Welcome back to the channel and episode nine. Nine, I want to say, I think we're on. Uh, yeah, as usual, I just want to say, if you've been liking and subscribing and, and doing all that jazz and, and commenting on the videos, thank you very much. I love it. It's, it's really cool to see like little messages pop up and people saying, oh, I've got this recipe and oh, I've got this thing and you guys have been sending me stuff to try and like sources of information for, for food and stuff like that. Keep that stuff up. It's, it's fantastic. So yeah, we're welcome to the ongoing struggles of lockdown in a van. So as I mentioned before, I've locked down outside a family's house. Um, I'm on the drive and I'm plugged in and I'm using their electricity. Um, mostly because a lot of people I'm hearing in their vans are being moved on. Uh, they're not really getting to, like, it's difficult to, to stay overnight. Like, the police are checking people and things like this. And it's possible to get by. But the ideal situation is to find somewhere, like a campsite or somewhere to sort of nestle down. As you guys know, originally my intention was to sod off to Norfolk and kind of and, and work it out up there. But one thing has led to another. And I find myself back in Ipswich for the time being. Um, not an ideal situation. And definitely that wasn't the plan. But now that it's, I've had very little choice in the matter, I'm going to make the most of the situation. And that means to-do lists and projects. So basically, come, I think I'm, I touched on this last, uh, last episode, but come the springtime, when summer hits, or when, uh, when lockdown really finishes, I'm predicting it's going to go on for another month or so, but when lockdown finishes, I want to hit the road big time. And be and be sort of. I'm going to stay in East Anglia while I'm working, and kind of hit up different spots, and I'll like vlog it and things like that. Instagram stories, by the way, I'm really enjoying keeping up with those. So follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. And then hopefully in the winter, next winter, it's the first time I'm telling you guys this, but next winter, I would love to head to Spain for three months over the winter. I don't want to. I don't want to have another miserable time in England, if you know what I mean. That is a, a an outside stretch. It's dependent on a lot of things clicking into place, but we may as well work on what we can do. And if it works out, and we get to and we get to uh, Spain by by the winter, that'll be terrific. Obviously, COVID dependent. Lots of things have to change. However, what this episode is going to be about, and the next few, I suspect, are going to be more about projects in the van and getting this thing finished. Um, I've been sat here making a little list and I've basically I'm going to make one big checklist. I'm probably going to, I mean, I've written it down in my notes, but I'd like somewhere more visible for it to go. I'm thinking of having like a big sign. I was watching Kinging It, um, which are another fantastic YouTube, another fantastic people. They've, they've done out a bus and they're touring all over the place. Lovely. Craig and Amy are amazing people. Um, and... They did their big man list, but they got like this big bit of wood, and they were. I think a big to-do list 
is definitely helpful. So I'm probably gonna turn, I'm thinking like one of the walls, like I've got a wall here, um, like a big bit of board, and I think I might just draw on it, and just, because it's gonna be covered, so I might just draw on it. Um, we'll see, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, obviously this, this, this van project is gonna be an ongoing kind of, kind of thing. Um, it's gonna change and it's gonna evolve as I use it and as I get out on the road and things like this. It's already changing and evolving loads. Um, and, I, but this is, these are the projects that I'd like to have done in the next month, two months, while we're locked down, basically. Um, I've managed to find myself a full-time job and I'm practicing and working on techniques that are used for um, digital nomading, earning from the road and things like that. There's matched betting, um, there's uh, profit accumulator and things like this. There's lots of different ways to make to make money on the road and I'm, I'm using my time here to try, to, to try and get used to those. So basically the, the whole goal while we're locked down is to make as much money as I can, have as many of my things as I can to allow myself the freedom in the summer and work on the van as much as I can. Because honestly, it's been tough. Lock lockdown, I can't see friends, they they you know, they can't really come over. Um you know, when we do go, I'm, I'm not I'm not alone. Lots of you out there are, are, are experiencing the same things. I know some friends who are very fortunate in that they lived in shared houses and they've locked down with their mates, and that's all well and good for them. But lots of us are just kind of sat here on our own. Um, yeah, and you just got to kind of make do with it. So I'm trying to make the most of the situation. I'm trying to keep myself as busy as I can. The first lockdown, I was in one of those situations where I was locked down with friends. I had my boyfriend, I had my friends, our dogs. It was like a holiday. It wasn't really, didn't really take it too seriously, and I didn't really achieve very much either. Um, but this lockdown, I, I, I'm, I'm more solo, and so I want to achieve some more stuff. Hopefully, I can. Hopefully, I don't bungle this whole situation. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I think I'll take you with me, and we're going to start today. I'm going to start with this roof paneling. Um, this is a bit weird because some of this I've already filmed, so I'm going to show the start of this now, and then we'll come back and see if we can finish, uh, finish it off. Let's start, shall we? Let's, let's just start taking this stuff off. The, the whole point I make these lists is to go down and take it off. So without further ado, let's go. Um, we've got... Um, a bunch of these offcuts that came out of the hole in the roof and using them I'm going to measure up and mark out and slice them up a little bit um, and then see if I can create like a, a you know a little insert to go in the middle um, I've not tried this yet and I don't feel good about my measuring skills but what else am I going to do today it's locked down so yeah let's get to it shall we like that that's probably the worst cut ever I'm so sorry um, but um, speaking of bad cuts I tell you what you don't most of it okay so short history lesson most of this van was kind of built by me in like a handsaw and like these I'd be like cutting them and then screwing them in place and then measure and then cut and then screw them in place and then when you've gone to Matt's, my friend, and he's taken his measuring things out and then just goes, he, he, he spent ages measuring, he spent ages measuring, and then just go, hmm, buzz, 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 there you go, done. And it's, the cutting takes up maybe 5% of the time, and most of it is measuring and double checking. Um, when you don't have access to, you know, the, the machines and the clamps and all the wonderful woodworking tools anymore, you know, I miss it. <laughs> um, I do. So yeah, I, I appreciate my friend and his workshop a little bit more now, but I'm not going to go see him because, you know, the world's ending. So, as we are, what I've done is I've cut out a bunch of, you can't see very well, but I've cut out a bunch of uprights and supports, um, and the idea is I'm going to like clad the inside of it. Um, I'm going to get this in and then take a step back and look at the best way to finish it off because uh, it's probably easier if I just show you. So. Give me a second. Let me like screw and glue this stuff in place, and then we'll come back and have a have a have a better look at it. So I had the camera 
recording or uh, like the whole work that was going on and yeah uh, turns out I fell over pretty much like I think about 30 seconds into it so never mind um you know anywho this is what I've done so far so as you can see what I've done is I've cut out strips to go along and cover up the bases all around um, and then um, cut uh, another strip to act as a downer. Now this one's actually loose but I, I measured it quite well and it's quite a snug fit so I'm going to leave it loose because behind that is where my aerial comes in and I might need to access that again in the future at some point. So it's in there pretty firmly like I can't pull it out easily so I'm going to leave it there in case I need to access it. Maybe, I don't know. Um, this side is less pretty um, I've ha I had to glue it and screw it a little bit because it would not it would not stay put. So yeah, that's that's less pretty. Once the glue sets, I can hopefully remove these screws, and that should be all well and good. The question now is what to do about these bits. There's one here. Excuse me. Thank you. There's one here and one on the other side as well. Now I can take the bits of wood and cut lots of little short strips and kind of do that and that way the line will continue um, but I'm not going to lie that's likely to get messy and like I'm not the best at cutting these very neatly and I think the more cuts I make the more likely I am to, to mess it up so that's option the first and it will also it's always going to leave the blank end of one of these woods like like whether it's the bottom or here I'm always going to see these wood end bits so that's one option. The other option being to sort of do what I've done here. So what I've done here is I've taken the tongue, tongue of one of these, and just positioned it so it sort of creates a nice kind of transitional thing. And I can just cut one strip then. The problem with that is that. So I'll have to have a noddle bit, which is not the end of the world. Like, I can do that. That's fine. In fact, I'll probably do it this way so that the noddle bit can come out. Um, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do, actually. I've talked myself into it. So yeah, but to be honest with you, it's just started pissing it down outside. Um, and there's that weird kind of like pre, we've been getting some snow, so it's kind of pre-snow rain. Um, and yeah, I've, I've packed all the tools away and I've, I've kind of done everything. I'm, I don't feel like going out there in, in, the, in the miserableness and sawing it off. So I'm going to call it for today. I'm going to see if I can find a cider and just kind of relax and kind of mull on this, I think. And then tomorrow we can finish that off. Tomorrow or the next time I've got a day off, um, finish this off and I can start measuring. In fact, I think tonight I'll start measuring up for this. But yeah, it's a good start, I think. It's a good start on the little, on the little list of to-do things. So see you all tomorrow. Right, so it's tomorrow, believe it or not. And um, I've, let the I've let the day get away. It's been one of those days, right, where you start a, you start the day and you think, I'm going to get so much done. So we did like a to-do list and then I got halfway down the to-do list and it started hammering it down with rain. So yeah, we're going to do this in the van, which is significantly more awkward than doing it outside because it is absolutely pissing it down out there. It's how we used to do it back when I first started sort of thing. You know, I would sort of like be, be sawing away inside the van and things like that when, when I was building the, building the thing. So let's carry on, shall we? Um, so far, so good. I've just been measuring up. As you can see, I've got one long plank to do this bit with. Um, it needs like a couple of centimetres taken off the end. And then the awkward bit is up here. So as you can see, the plank is going to come and then starting from about here, it's got a curve in. So I've now got to like, so yeah, the, the, the trick is going to be to measure that up do that kind of curve bit and then and then maybe cut it and see hope it hope it works it'll work i'm sure and then yeah that'll slot in nice and neat and then i'll have a solid roof and i can cut these bits since it's coming along so yeah let's let's try that right it was getting far too hot in here so i had to open the door um because oh my god i'm baking um so it's in it's not ideal now there are kinks and bolts and things sticking out underneath there which are stopping this from going up and now I could shave some of the wood off, which means it would sit flat, but then you're going to be able to see them all and it's pretty ugly. And I had hoped that I'd be able to get this effect of like a nice 
kind of continuous line. Um, so I've decided not to for now. I can always go back and do it later. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw this down as far as it will go, and I'm going to screw that down as far as it will go. Unfortunately, that is as far as it will go. <laughs> um, so we're looking at the possibility of a slight gap here, which I might have to sand down or do something with. Maybe even put like, I might, I, I might put something over it or something like, you know, cover it in some way. But that's about as far, as far up as that's going to really go. Um, all in all though, not bad. And hang on, but obviously we've still got these to do. So yeah, nearly, nearly there. All right, so, so far, so good, kind of, ish. I mean, we did it. I didn't do the neatest job, I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably gonna redo it, but for now, this is what we got. So what I've done is, these are all now solid, nice and glued in. And then you got this. Now there is some little touch-up bits here where the roof curves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the same, um, stain that we did here and like touch up the bits and like go over i'm just going to paint over the screw holes as well just to sort of darken them a little bit um that's going to become next there is now as i pointed out before these little uh little doohickeys so i've still got one more bit of this wood left um i chopped it to do one of these and i'm going to now cut out little squares that go in there now the reason i've done this because i'm very clever well, not really, but you know, um, is I'm gonna is that these bits are gonna be removable, like with one screw. I'm gonna put one small screw in to hold them in place, and then with the removal of one small screw each, this will then pop off. Um, it's loose, so I'm not gonna do it now. But this can be popped off, is the point. And then I have access to the uh, behind there where the aerial comes through. So you know, all in all, but when it's up, it's up. It should be good good to go right once those bits are done we can tick that off the list and we can move on to whatever job i'm doing next so it's been a couple of days since i did this as you can tell um uh, it's cleaning day today it's sheets off everything in the wash carpets up floors are being washed down it's sanitizing everything i do this every couple of weeks um just because i like to it makes me feel a bit of a nice clean van you know it's so boring in lockdown and the cold outside, it's so snowy and miserable and things like that. But Hey ho, we're working on the van and we want it to get done for the summer. Ugh. So I'm looking forward to getting the, there's, I still need to get that gearbox done. Um, I'm going to have someone come and do that for me because I really will fuck that up. And so someone who wants to know what they're doing wants to come out and do that. Um, that I want done in the next couple of weeks. And then yeah, it's just some some reconsiderations. I really think I'm going to start moving forward on getting these uh, these benches done next and things like that. We shall see. Let me let me pack this this little project away. Let me do it. I may even stain it, and then we'll move on. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, let's go. Well, we've had some news, some updated um, shenanigans happening. First of all. I'm loving this, although it's not finished, still. It's a little bit tatty, still, but so is everything in my van. So, do you know what? It's fine. Um, the paint, the, the tin of stain for this thing is gone. Um, I've no idea where it's gone, so we need to come find it somewhere. I've stored it away somewhere safe. That's what I'm saying for now. Um, so, what we're going to be doing today is, I've, I've mentioned like a list of things to do. Um, that we need to, that, that, so we've got like a, a good idea of what we want to achieve in this van over the next couple of months. And I mentioned before, I've been watching the uh, Kinging It, and they've got their big man list and things like this. Now I don't want to completely rip them off, but I do want a, some kind of visual to-do list. So I'm making my big van list, because I'm totally original. And we're going to now mark off on on here, I'm actually going to physically write on the wall what I'm going to be doing and what I want. That way we can tick it off and I can kind of have a reminder that I'm not a total waste of space and that I'm achieving something. I'm very excited. Um, but I tell you what, between now and then, I do need to get rid of this this mess. It is a bit, it is a bit, bit much. 
I did think about growing it out. I was looking at it going, do you know what? Actually, I could just grow it out and like have like a proper mop of long hair. Nah, <laughs> I'm just gonna shave it off, I think. Just goes a bit neater. Um, Cause at the moment, there's no good way for me to have it where I don't look a bit a, a bit like a a bit like a caveman. So yeah, let's let, let's cut it, shall we? Uh, so there's that. Um, bit of a mess, I know. I just washed it, and uh, I find it best to to let it loose as it dries. But by and large, should be much neater now. Can't complain. Feel a lot fresher as well. Not less like a not less like a wild thing. I say with hair like this. So. Anyway, moving on, let's do this wall, shall we? Let's get a pen and start scribbling some stuff down. Where's my pen? Right, it seems like we have some success. Sort of. It works, um, and I like this, although the pen has started to run out of ink as I've sort of been writing down. Now I've got more to write. I'm thinking over this side we're gonna do more mechanic stuff. So like stuff that's mechanically going on with the van because because there are things mechanically going on with the van and I don't wanna bore you with them because we talked about them a lot but they are still happening, so we may need to talk about them more. I'm bored with them, so we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, I think maybe uh, get a fresh pen, because my pen is running out, and uh, go buy a Sharpie, I think is gonna be the uh, next, next thing to do. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna tick off what we've already done. So this is, this is, this is my, my handwritten, these are my handwritten notes, and then I'm transferring them onto the wall, and I'm gonna, We've panelled the ceiling, yep, yeah, we've done that. Uh, bigger tick. Yes, that's it. Window box. Do you know what? We've kind of done that as well. So we can tick that as well. Feels good. Let's, let's, thank you. Yeah, feels good. This pen's rubbish. Not bad, not bad. Good. Morning, everyone. It is a sunny day in the old uh, in the old lockdown. Not ideal, still, but you know we're working on it. Feels good to get stuff done. I like the fact that I've got my my list done, and uh, it's time for me to head out now. And I'm going to see if I can get a few things done. I'm not going to go in the van. I'm going to go on foot. So. I'm going to talk a bit more uh, for you today about the things that are going on and um, the things that I've got to get done. Um, the news we had was that, sorry there's a bit of a breeze, the news we had was that I went to the mechanic and got the gear cables done. Hooray! Except it wasn't the cables, boo! It was something else, but it wasn't as expensive as it could have been, so I'm going to count it as a win. Um, Oh, it's, it's picking up breezy here. I'm not sure how the audio is going to come out on this. So all in all, it could be a lot worse. Um, it is time for me to work on another list for the exterior of the van, things like the wheel arches and stuff like that. Um, I've been added to the list. It's good to finally get the ball rolling and get some projects done, but that's going to be it for today. Um, sunglasses on. So that's where we're going to call it for today's episode. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to the new channel. Um, I hope it, that it wasn't too much of a jolt for you guys. Please resubscribe if you've already subscribed. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe, you, you get the picture. Um, I'm excited for ticking off this list and getting things done finally. Yeah, it, let's, this, the, the air is warming up and the, the spirits are high. So I'll see you all in the next episode coming very shortly. Until then. Be kind to each other in the comments. Please comment, you know. See you, uh, see you then. Bye.